Grid navigation comes up in two subjects of the ATPL syllabus 061 which is general navigation and 070 which is operational procedures. The key facts to answering grid navigation questions are if you have time draw it accurately identify the hemisphere be it north or south add in west and east apply screw or unscrew for woe this will make sense later align grid north on its meridian draw a position of longitude from the question reposition grid north over the aircraft position draw in the aircraft grid heading or true heading depending on the question and check where true north is Changing longitude can be transferred across parallel lines. Bear in mind angles between parallel lines. For example, a polar stereographic chart is overprinted with a rectangular grid so that grid north is aligned with true north on the Greenwich meridian. What is the heading true of an aircraft at 70 degrees south, 043 degrees west, steering 220 degrees grid? Well, the first thing that you need to do is draw a circle. It was southern hemisphere so draw an S in the middle of the circle and add west and east, west always being on the left and east on the right hand side of the page. Add zero, in this case since it was southern hemisphere S for screw, you screw things clockwise so wo is spelt out W zero E in a clockwise fashion. From the question, Grid North was aligned with the Greenwich Meridian. Greenwich is aligned up the page. 043 degrees of longitude may be added from the question, counting round from the zero reference at the top towards the W on the left. Transfer the Greenwich Meridian to the aircraft position which is over here and add the true north reference which is coming out from the center of the circle. Draw in the aircraft heading which is steering 220 degrees grid measured from the grid north 000 reference here. The 043 angle is also in this area here. Measuring round now from the true north reference 043 plus 220 degrees will make a true north steering for the aircraft of 263 degrees.